colorful piece behind me, really attention grabbing see it through the glass doors and I think that really draws you into the room but once you enter really everywhere you look there is something sort of calling you to look a little deeper and I'm standing here next to Petrina what an incredible what an incredible display work of art and it's all just so unique and you said it's inspired by a play Yes, it's inspired by a play by Dr. Intazaki Shange, uh, who created the choreo poem about 40 years ago, and um, it is still resonating today. Uh, she wanted women to have feel power. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> yes, and so all of the uh, pieces in, in terms of how women can take uh, control of their lives, uh, how they can fight back, they don't have to take it anymore. This is 40 years ago, and it's wow. today, still. we know, it's still very important to very women important. and to the, to the country and the world. Absolutely, and I know you've got a couple of favorite pieces. You're just looking at the colorful, um, the colorful fringes on the wall, and we have this massive piece behind us that you said was just uh, incredible to watch put up. What is the meaning behind it, or what is the poem, the meaning of the poem that this is connected with? This one is about um, someone trying to take her stuff. Okay. Okay. And, and this is what she's talking about. You see that she has taken paper and fabric and woven this design. It's all twisted. And that's kind of like life. You know, it can be all twisted. And then someone comes in and tries to take, you know, whatever it is that you have, especially for women who are looking to men to enjoy a life. And then, you know, he walks away or he and he takes her stuff. He takes her energy. He takes her spirit, you know, but then she fights back. And sometimes she weaves these you know, webs to keep people away, ah. you know, or maybe to actually draw them in. That's really interesting, and it's a multimedia piece. We see the video, we hear the voice of, of a strong woman, or a couple of women, I feel like. That's yes. a different woman than I just saw up there. <laughs> okay. Women. That's yes. a different woman. So it's very, it's a very empowering, yes. empowering exhibit, and there's so much more to explore. We're going to do that for you. If you want to come by and check out this exhibit for yourself, Charles H. Wright African American History Museum here in downtown Detroit, a beautiful museum. You always have incredible exhibits here. This one is no Thank different. Uh, what are the hours? When can people come and visit? They can come. Uh, our hours are uh, actually <laughs> Sunday. Or, or you can send people to the website. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Get this, but our um, hours are Tuesday through uh, Saturday from nine to five, and then Sunday from uh, one to five. Okay, mm -hmm. and this exhibit will be available all month. Yes, actually, it's open until April twenty seventh. Fantastic, plenty of time, but don't yes. wait. This is right. an incredible exhibit right. that you can be inspired and empowered by, and I'm really excited. I get to be here and explore it all morning long. So hang with us. We'll be back right here on Channel Seven. Back to you.